G'day, I'm Ash and welcome back to Carrier Deck. I do have to apologise, uh, there is some background audio, but sometimes I'm sitting there engrossed in the game thinking about the, you know specific outcomes rather than thinking about uh, who the people are that I'm hanging around on Discord and I just don't necessarily pay attention, especially when I uh, am recording. Regardless, back at Carrier Deck and this mission is a little intense. It's one of those missions where it really kept me on your feet and there are certain parts within this that get rather hectic. So here I am loading all the helicopters on and they'll sort themselves out eventually. Let's get everything loaded up correctly. Let's raise all the decks. Let's get everything going. We've got our first aircraft inbound for landing. I believe it's a AWACS. Yep, it is an AWACS. We'll make sure everything gets up. Ready to go. Sort out everything. And put out our surface patrol vehicle. Um, and uh, that way we can get an idea of any coastal vessels leading our way. Anyway, let's sort out all the helicopters, let's bring them all down to the bottom. Um, tap spacebar a little bit to speed up time. It's always a fantastic option. Okay, let's move the other helicopter out there. In comes the other AWACS. We're going to load this one up for aerial uh, surveillance. In the meantime, let's get all the other jets unloaded into the standby bays. That way we have room for the incoming next couple of aircraft, which look to be a uh, some sort of Electronic Warfare, load those up for fighters, and then we'll load all of these up for naval. There we go, fantastic. The AWACS is currently loading up for aerial warfare, or at least aerial surveillance, and uh, our first two targets are up, so we're going to go launch those. And as you can see, everything happens quite quickly, but it is super fun when it does happen. In the meantime, we've got our first Growler, or at least uh, F-18 with uh, Electronic Warfare. We'll push in. Make sure everything's going. Got the helicopter taken off to take after the next thing. And this game is so much fun. I wouldn't have done a second video in a row uh, had it not been for the fact that this is particularly fun. This is where it gets somewhat interesting. We've got a cargo uh, aircraft inbound. We're going to unload the cargo as quickly as possible, refuel it, and get it out of here. But the timing is crucial on this one because at the same time, uh, there is a couple of bombers. So you need to launch all your available aircraft. So there you go. Two bombers going up. And uh, we'll refuel that as soon as possible because very shortly we're going to see an enemy carrier fleet, or not carrier fleet, but an enemy battle group that we're going to need most. Uh, as you can see, I'm getting ready for this uh, launch. I don't know where the aircraft are going. There they are. That's ready to go. Actually, I'm going to move the other aircraft over there. That was a mistake. We're nearly piling up aircraft here. Ooh, that was close. And as you can see, uh, there's the enemy battle group, which I need to sort of take off. But everything is landing at once. So, uh,. Let's go. Let's take these guys off. Let's get them all up in the air. Um, it, it is a parking mania right now, and I nearly lost it there. But if I don't get this aircraft up soon, an enemy submarine will come out of the blue and uh, nail us. That's okay. We're just unloading everything, making sure everything is going continuously. And that's just the joy of this game. Once you get down into a rhythm and everything is going, it's fantastic. Now we can finally take that cargo aircraft off. Let's load up with uh, all uh, our particular vehicles here. I'm always focused on the front of the deck. I'm never focused on the rear of the deck. I don't know why that is. As you can see, we just loaded up with two anti-air and uh, three surface. One of the things I love about this game is it makes you think strategically about how and where you want to put your particular operations. Now, obviously, in the real world, uh, there'll be more uh, opportunities and there'll be a group of and a team of people working for you. But this is all done under one person. I don't think it's quite interesting because it challenges your perception and it makes you somewhat understand the operations that are at hand. I've moved the other helicopter into position and I've just loaded it up and as you can see there's two submarines. Now there's only a limited amount of launch space so we're going to have to load up as quickly as possible and we don't have a electronic warfare aircraft so we're going to load up as quickly as we and as you know quickly as we can to take out those uh, that carrier group and this is where I nearly foul up again. As you can see I'm trying to move all the aircraft in. The electronic warfare aircraft has come in. Here comes the second one from the previous group. Let's take you off and now we need to get them loaded up as quickly as possible. But there's a bomber that's just come in and I haven't cleared the rear of my deck correctly because they're not moving quite fast enough. There's a lot of aircraft coming in and I know I can abort the landings but I wasn't necessarily paying attention. And that's the thing, you've got to be quick, you've got to be on your feet. 
Load up with uh, some AWACS. There we go. Finally take off those two aircraft to intercept the th threat. And uh, you'll hear a little bit of jet storm there in the background. Again, sometimes you're too engrossed in something to actually, like, remember that you're on a Discord call. Okay, the bomber's taken care of, and now we've got the uh, enemy fleet down the bottom. And this game is just so much fun. And it, it is, it's hard work. <laughs> I can't... This mission was tricky. It was a tricky one, and it looks so smooth, it looks easy. The, the, the blind reality is it wasn't. This one this one particularly drove me up the wall a considerable amount. I mean, we've got one electronic warfare aircraft ready to go just in case. We'll put the submarine uh, warfare up and load up that. Let's take these two off and get these guys kitted out. Move the uh, F-18 ready into, in, into position. We've got another couple of aircraft in pattern ready for landing. And the submarine has been d detected, so we'll queue that up and we'll take off one of the helicopters. When you get Harriers later in the game, the uh, hel helicopter pads do take Harriers as well. Alright, that, that particular craft is damaged, so we'll actually move him onto his own elevator. That one's not, that's okay. We'll move him on and get ready for th another operation. And it's just dealing with this one by one. Now, I was expecting this to go on a little bit longer. But that's it, that's victory. And uh, now we just wait for everything to sort of fall into line. Put everything back in its parking spot. And uh, that's basically it. Well, I hope you enjoyed the short video today. I didn't have a video planned and well, I thought I'd use some more footage of this particular game because I love it so much. I've been playing a lot of it. It's fantastic. It is frustrating, don't get me wrong. But it is an absolute blast to play and I'm loving it. So do expect there to be maybe one or two more videos on this in the near future but not for at least a, a couple of weeks we've got some postscript from hell let loose some isle 2 and possibly some dcs coming up as well so there's a lot of videos in the works that i'm editing right now again it's really challenging doing a, a video on the daily even though i didn't do a video uh, for wednesday uh, of this particular week uh, i tried streaming and that didn't end up too well but anyway i hope to catch you in a video soon my name's ash i'll see you in the next one